Hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is a good morning. Guess what? We are ready to roll. It is about 5.27 in the morning right now. So in about three minutes, we can get out of here. And it is very, very dark out there still. So, uh, well, that's the way it is. Winter, it gets dark early and it stays dark long in the morning too. So, but whatever. We got us a full day going home yet. We got 603 miles to get home. So let's get our day started. Appreciate you guys tuning in. So that's coming right along with the truck Rudy. And if you did, we appreciate it. So right after the intro, continue with our show. indeed and I think we are not too far away from uh, Duluth or Superior Wisconsin anymore yeah that's right we are just into, uh, we just entered into Wisconsin here a few minutes ago from Michigan so I don't think it's too far anymore and we'll be in uh, in Superior yeah that's right but, hey, at least we got nice sunshine today, so uh, hopefully it will stay like that all day long and we can go camping and do all of that stuff without having rain. But supposedly they're saying later on tonight it's supposed to start raining and then uh, tomorrow even it's supposed to be raining. So uh, I guess we'll see what happens, but uh, we're going camping no matter what. That's the plan as of right now, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. It might be a little cooler in the morning, but that'll be all right. We'll be in a in a camper and we got a furnace in there and everything, so we won't have to worry too much. But yeah, we're just cruising right on through here. And I bet you in another hour or so we'll be in uh, Superior and Wisconsin and all of that so yeah I might I might stop there in Duluth and go have me breakfast I might just do that I gotta take my half an hour break somewhere yet so I might just do that that's right but hey that's the way it goes beautiful day enjoy the ride home don't know what we're going to be doing next week but uh, we might have next week off yet because I got to get my safety done and on the truck and all of that so uh, I might have I might take next week off yet do the safety on the truck get that EGR valve and all of that put back on there probably spend about twelve thousand dollars on the truck well, I don't know if twelve but we'll be close anyways I know we'll be over ten so uh, but yeah we'll see what happens yeah, let's continue on with our journey appreciate you guys tuning in we are coming into Superior ladies and gentlemen and this is that new scale that they got up here it says they're closed I don't know what it is, but I have never ever seen this scale open. Yeah. Never ever have I seen it open. Not one time yet, either direction, doesn't matter which direction. I've seen the DOTs in there, but I haven't actually had the light open, say open on me yet. So, <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. There it is, closed. I mean, looks like they got a couple of trucks in there right now. They might be busy, busy inspecting them, but other than that, I have never been in, uh, pulled in there yet. Yeah, they got the bay open. It looks like the DOT is in there. They got two DOT cars. Oh, yeah, they're open on the other side now. Yeah, wow. I guess my lucky day again. Every single time, the 
it's never open when I come through here, but oh well, the better for me, right? That's the way I look at it. Better for me. But yeah, we uh, we are going to make a pit stop up here, and uh, I think we're going to stop up there in Duluth at that truck stop over there. Uh, or maybe up here in Superior yet. I'm quite haven't quite decided yet, but we'll see where we're going to make a pit stop and then uh, we'll probably go out with some breakfast. Yeah, I'm kind of getting hungry and I need to take my half an hour break, so may as well go in there and have me something to eat, right? While I'm taking my half an hour break, which I could do here in the truck if I really wanted to, but I just don't feel like it today. <laughs> Simple as that. But yeah. That's the way it is. But anyways, let's go down there and see what happens, right? Alrighty guys, we had our pit stop over there, had our half an hour off and stuff like that. So, uh, here we are. Making our way back home, sweet home. And that I-535 is still closed. Last time it was going into Wisconsin, this time it's going into Duluth. It's actually closed, so we got to take this highway too again, which we are doing right now. Yeah, look at that, eh? Beautiful day out here, that's for sure. But yeah, no, we decided to go ahead and have that pit stop over there. We had us a very nice breakfast over there, so yeah, looks like it is a little windy out there. I see a boat out there on the lake and it looks like it's going quite a bit up and down <laughs> yeah oh well we gotta get down all the way down there and then continue on highway too Crossing make our border. journey way over Minnesota. there on top of that hill that you see up up there you know that's where we're basically uh heading for going westbound we will be on highway 2 all the way till we get to grand forks and then we'll uh we'll go north from there on i-29 yep that's the plan as of right now anyway so we gotta turn left over here at the bottom so we're gonna make sure we're in the right lane right and the right lane meaning and the correct lane that we need to be in in order to uh, to make our way down uh, west on the highway 2 right yep that's right but anyways I figured I'd show you this little bridge up here and all that good stuff welcome to Manitoba ladies and gentlemen yes indeed that's right well, it is pretty cloudy and uh, something has happened a little bit with our camping. Looks like unfortunately we won't be able to go camping with our friends. That was originally the plan and uh, that looks like that's gone downhill. Something has come up with them. And I haven't gotten all the details yet, and I don't think I would share them on here either, but uh, I don't even know what's going on, so uh, don't know if I'll be able to uh, see them this weekend, but we'll give it a try. Well, we are now in Manitoba, and that chicken house is closed today. It does, however, look like there's a penner truck in the back of that scale there, so not sure what he's doing over there but uh, maybe he's waiting for his border crossing to clear he's maybe going south and hasn't gotten his border crossing cleared yet but anyways we're here in Manitoba that's right we're gonna put the hammer down 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 good speed limit up here so we can hammer down that's right I'm excited I'm home 
I think we're still going to make a great weekend. That's what I believe in anyways. So uh, we might still go camping, but uh, probably be tomorrow morning when we go camping. But yeah, let's go home. This behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down. 